When you wake up each morning, and when you leave your house for the day, you probably assume you'll be home later that night to do it all again the next day. You head to work and you'll likely take the same route. In other words, your day and your commute so far are relatively routine. And then it's not. Imagine you're humming along with a good tune, enjoying scenery around the site or chatting with a coworker, then bam, you get hit by another car. And that's exactly what happened to a van pool of CPC Co coworkers on January 26th. 2022. 911, what's your emergency? It happened so quick, and then I heard the impact, and all I could think was, oh my God. And I don't know if I said it out loud or not. I, I don't know. I think I did. And then it was, we rolled, and it was extremely loud very, very loud, and I felt like a tornado is what it sounded like, and then all of a sudden, dead silence. So I felt like we were in the middle of the desert, is what I felt like. Tara and her co-workers were T-boned by a car at the intersection of routes 4 and 11. They rolled several times before coming to a complete stop, suffering extensive injuries, but it could have been a lot worse. You see pictures of the van, are you surprised you're able, you're able to walk away? I am, I'm surprised that we're all alive. I am very surprised and uh, all of my co-workers said the same thing, that we're all very lucky to still be here. And we all know that it's very life changing. We're all responsible for our driving and how that affects others. Our actions can lead to the anticipated routine day or it can cause the worst day ever for someone, their family, and their friends. Safety behind the wheel and distracted driving is very personal to me. In October of 2019, we lost a member of our Hanford family here on the Hanford site. Unfortunately, I was the one that had to deliver that tragic news to his wife and to his family. And it was a day that changed many of us very deeply and a day that I hope none of us ever have to relive. It's sobering, it's uncomfortable, it's distressing, and it's unpleasant. But we can't ignore that there have been serious and fatal accidents at Hanford while driving, and each one could have been prevented. Think about that. Those employees who expected to have their routine day and go home at repeat may never be the same. I. I think about that a lot and it's almost made me feel like that I want to retire because of that because I don't want to come out here anymore. And I don't like that that has forced me to feel that way. Your actions, your driving behavior make a huge impact so make it a positive one. Follow the speed limits, obey traffic signs and focus on the task at hand. After all, the life you save may be your own.